a lot of people see voodoo sacrifices as just plain old demonic there's no way around it it's absolutely disturbing it's disgusting there's absolutely no reason people should be killing and slaughtering animals the people in the community can feed their families at the end of the day. Now, one of the main reasons a lot of people started to catch wind of these voodoo ceremonies was because of these nosy ass journalists going where nobody sent them, going to capture these voodoo ceremonies all over the world, all right? And you know, they would see these elaborate voodoo ceremonies and they would be like, oh my God, look at what the niggers are doing. With getting the truth out, they're supposed to go out, get the story, tell all sides, but journalism has become a f joke a lot of these journalists are literally just out there trying to get the best story trying to get the most salacious story and a lot of them have become insanely embarrassing keep your four-legged babies close because they coming for your pets they coming for your pets they coming for your pets and welcome to the conservative poet my name is amanya here on the channel i do political reactions commentary i throw some humor some parody trying to make sense of the crazies that we are seeing in the society if that is something that is interesting to you then you've come to the right place all i ask is you interact with the video like share comment subscribe that really helps me out with youtube and the algorithm so without further ado, let's get into this video right now. America has been on fire for the past, I would say two to three weeks or so in reference to Springfield, Ohio, where 20,000 Haitians have been delivered to a community of about 50,000, if not 50, then 60,000. But any event, small middle, middle town America, where all of a sudden 20,000 Haitians have been descended on these people. And with that, they have become a problem on the resources. Obviously, the schools are having issues. The markets are having issues because all of a sudden you're feeding an additional 20,000 mouths. And of course, you know, there's, there's pregnant people, pregnant women, babies are on the way, babies are being birthed. So that number is growing uh, every day. So here you are, small town, never saw anything like this before. And then all of a sudden, your putty cat starts going missing. Your puppies start disappearing. Well, Haitians has a religion, as we all know, that they practice that involves sacrifice of animals and of people too sometimes. Just saying. So, as of right now, President Trump at the debate stage brought it up. Let's play it again for kicks and giggles. President Trump on coming for your dogs and your pets and your cats in Springfield, Ohio. Our country is being lost. We're a failing nation. And it happened three and a half years ago. And what, what's going on here, you're going to end up in World War III, just to go into another subject. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating... They're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. As far as rallies are concerned, as far as the reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase. Make America great again. 
She's destroying this country. And if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the... But people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people on television the saying their dog was eaten by the people that went there. So everybody seems to be upset that President Trump say this. They, they do it as if they, they don't understand what he is saying. He may not have said it in the, in the proper way, but again, this is not a polished politician. This is just a businessman. He's just say it as he sees it. And so for them to pretend that they don't understand what he's saying, that is the first problem. Now, Everybody knows, everybody knows that Haitians practice voodoo. Not all Haitians practice this religion, as they call it, but a lot of them do. And so you pull all of these Haitians from their community in, in where they are, where they are used to doing this. They're used to, you know, roasting up cats. They're used to, you know, cutting off their necks. They're used to doing that. Let, let's, let's take a look at a, some footage. We're going to look at some footage. They are used to doing that. And then you stick them in a area where they don't have access to these things. They don't have access to these animals to do their rituals. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to snatch up the little pooty cat that they see roaming around uh, the yard. They're going to snatch up the loose dog that they see running around in the yard. They're going to go to the pond and snatch up those pigeons, those, those, those birds, and they're going to do what they got to do because this is who they are. Again, percentage, not all, but percentage. So we're going to talk about that today, the hypocrisy of especially Haitian community leaders who come out here boohoo whining and crying and saying, oh my God, Donald Trump is racist. He's saying Haitians are eating cats and dogs. Maybe they're not eating it that way, but they're certainly taking them and they're doing their rituals with them. And then they probably eat them later. Who knows? Because I don't know. I've never done it. Don't know. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But first, we're going to take a couple of clippings just to tie it all in. Yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a Haitian person um, wringing the neck of the cat, wringing the little necky of the little putty cat. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we're watching: wringing the cat neck. But. They, they don't do that. You, 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 you racist if you say that this person is wringing the neck of the cat and they're probably going to eat him. But that's racist for you to say. Friend, if you're stressed out that your putty cat or your puppy could come up missing because you have guests in your community that uses these animals for rituals or for, 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 for cooking. If you're stressed out, all I can do is help you out by offering you 30% off at the orlandopatriot.com so you can burn some candles to ease your stress. You know me, I have a pet of my own, so I have to burn candles too because I'm afraid my puppy could go missing too. So orlandopatriot.com, 30% off your purchase price. So we have a video floating out there on YouTube world, TikTok world, and so on. Thanks to the Hodge brothers, they were able to capture this information. So I'm going to play the clip 
uh, in reference to this gentleman who is not Haitian, but who is very, very close to the Haitian community and has seen these things firsthand and knows all about these things. And he's going to give us a little bit of knowledge about what is happening right now, this conversation as to why is it that people are so, oh my God, well, how can President Trump say these things when these things don't happen? They are not true. And we all know if we're being honest and truthful, it only makes logical sense that people's pets are going to come up missing because these people, this is what they were doing out there in, in Haiti. And now they've come here and they want to continue. They're going to bring their traditions. They're going to bring their culture. They're going to bring all of this stuff to a small town in America where these Americans don't know nothing about this stuff. They don't, they love on their pets. You know, they don't cook them up. They don't wring their necks and eat them. No, that's not who these people are. But these Haitians have to continue to practice their religion. Right? Yeah, let's go. Listen, I am not Haitian, but I am from the Caribbean. The Haitian immigrants are indeed eating animals. Let me tell you something about these people. Not only are they harvesting cats for food, but also for witchcraft purposes, voodoo purposes. Understand this. If you don't want to take my word for it, go out there. Meet a Haitian. Talk to them about it. This is not something they aren't proud of. These, it's their culture. They eat these animals and they use the blood and bones of these animals for voodoo and witchcraft purposes. This is not a joke. The fact that they are here illegally Kamala did say she gave them a temporary protection, over 100,000 of them. But here's the thing. For good luck purposes, they will harvest cats. They will use the blood and the bone of these cats. They consume these things because they believe it brings good luck and good juju. This is not a joke. Yeah, it's good, a you, fact. You. <laughs> this is their culture. You this do, is what friend. they believe. They will die on a hill on this belief. Like I said, meet a Haitian. So Talk to them about it. Had a lot to say. I cut cut it short. Um, I will link the Hodges video here in the box. This way, you can go and watch the whole thing. Uh, his portion of it is about five five minutes long so but i just wanted to grab that bit to just to show you contact so yes this thing is really real and it is happening and shame on people who come out here who who say no this is a xenophobic thing that you know it's a racist thing no no it's not this is a truth thing and so these people don't know in springfield I mean, anywhere in, 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 in America where it's not like these major cities like Miami, um, New York, Orlando, where they have a whole lot of hubs of Haitians and these Haitians are able to go and purchase the products that they need to get this done. So there are markets around where you can go and buy your live chickens, where you can go and buy your goats and you can buy, you know, buy whatever you need to do whatever it is that you do. Um, and so these places exist. And so you'll see them around town. You'll see stores and markets, magic shops, you know, a whole bunch of candles, things like that. This is what, this is what you're seeing. Um, this is what they're selling. They're selling the tools that people need to, to do these rituals, to do their religions, to do, to do these things. And so in a place like Springfield, where they just drop these people there, the population, um, of Haitians is what they drop there. There's not a lot of Spanish folks there. Um, uh, the majority of are, are white people and, uh, you know, a small majority is black. So, uh, African-American blacks. So 
with a whole, you know, onslaught of black Haitians coming there, they don't have these tools and the resources to get these things done. So they got to go out there and, and take your putty cat in order to get it done. But in communities where they can go and purchase these things, well, there's some sort of understanding that this is happening and, um, and they can go and purchase the tools that they want. So they, they, they may not go out there and take um, the ducks out of the pond because they know better because they've been here for a while. They know, you know, we can go to the, to the Palmas and, and pick up our chickens there. And uh, they say, well, you know, we don't need to do that. We'll just, you know, go out to the, to the cat place and buy our cats and do it there. You know, adopt the cat. They go there and do it. Adopt their dog. They go there and do it. So, but these Haitians that don't know how to, to maneuver these things, they just straight up snatching them out of your park, out of your, out of your pond, out of your backyard. And so this is the reality of it. And it's not, has nothing to do with being racist or xenophobic. It has to do with, this is the reality. This is who these people are. You pull them from their country and bring them here. They are going to do what they know to do. And this is what they do. This is a part of the culture. This is a part of their religion. This is what they do. So they're going to practice it. They're going to practice it. So we entered this voodoo shop and we exposed everything. The voodoo priest initially did not want to be interviewed, but later on, by the grace of God, he joined the interview. Watch all the way to the end. These are all the different candles they light for different things. As you guys can see, look, these are the different statues that they, they'll put for the altars. We have one spirit like called Bosu. You do the bottle like that. And then after that, you present it to the spirit. This is Bosu. This is Bosu. It looks like a Catholic saint. In order for us to really use the spirit, we have to do the Catholic thing. But really, we was not believe in the Catholic, we was believe in the black spirit. We was believe in the black spirit. In witchcraft and voodoo, they worship spirits, AKA demons, and they give sacrifices, have statues, and do rituals onto these false gods. It's demonic. Folks, these stores are in your neighborhoods they're in your communities maybe some of you never noticed them before but they exist some of them are you know a little bit modest in appearance but you know the words are there and everybody knows who's involved in this um community uh they know where to go and get their supplies and so next what i'd like to do is i found a young lady here on youtube um who knows all about these things and we're going to take a couple of looks at one particular video she has and I've and I've kind of cut it up to to just talk about what I wanted. You actually saw her in the beginning of this video. So, we're going to talk a little bit about something that she says that I think that is very very important is the fact that could this Haitian practice, this voodoo's practice, this demonic practice be the reason why Haiti is in such dire restraints when it comes to to how it is is it because of this voodoo religion is that why haiti is a shithole country just be used as an offering and is not always killed right or well not killed on the spot like at the end of the day if it's an animal and people hungry they're gonna kill the animal they're gonna eat it but it's not always killed like during the ceremony sometimes you just kill it later kind of just uses like a good gesture in many cases now something i find very very interesting with all of this is that haitians blame voodoo for a lot of things right all of the bad that's happened in the country since the dawn of time all of the bad that's happening now all of the corruption all of the violence um and they're always like you know if we didn't do voodoo if we just accepted god that 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 but it's like plenty of people who accept god by numbers anyway for the country not to be like that if we're being very technical here and I feel like you know a lot of guys have commented in um the past on my comment section and I think you guys are right right realistically I feel like Haiti's issue is that they're not truly accepting what they're meant to accept and I think that's voodoo um I feel like they need to accept their initial spiritual calling which is the motherland's 
practices. They need to accept who they are. And until they accept who they are, they're going to be where the fuck they're at. I don't think Haitians realize how powerful they are, how powerful they can be. And when they keep hiding in the shadows and they keep hiding who they are, they keep hiding like, yo, we're the first black republic. We fought off the slave owners. This is what we can do. This is who we are. This is what we practice. Like they're just going to stay where they at. And it's just very weird because it's like they keep trying to say, oh, voodoo did this. It's because we do all of that. And it's like, I, I don't think that's what it is because there's there's plenty of people that serve voodoo but i think there's way more that are christian so i'm just like mm. I don't, do you guys really think that all of the problems that you guys are going through have to do with voodoo? Like, I don't know. And I've said it numerous times on this channel and I'll say it again. Voodoo isn't bad. People are. Okay? Voodoo isn't evil. People are. At the end of the day, you guys can blame voodoo all you want. A lot of you guys are just shitty ass people. A lot of you guys do horrible things to people and you guys want someone to blame for it. And it has nothing to do with the religion, the lifestyle, or anything like that. It's you. Seen that? Heard that? Good. I've said it here on this channel before. What I believe Haitian needs to do is to turn away from their wickedness, to put down this whole voodoo religion, whatever it is, put that stuff away, find Jesus, find God, and the resources in this country will start to be to refurbish. The goodness in the country will start to do better because not everyone practices this thing, but because if you're guilty, if one is guilty, then the whole tribe is guilty. If one is guilty, then the whole country is guilty because this is, this is who you, you're sharing the land. You're so, sharing the social space. You are guilty. So therefore the country is not going to prosper until we eradicate all of these demonic things, these killing of, of babies, killing of humans. I mean, that's a whole nother subject. Human sacrifices. That happens too. They eat, they eat flesh, human flesh, cannibalism. That happens too. I mean, these people in Springfield, they should be worried about themselves. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but these are the realities. These are the realities that we're seeing. And so for Haiti to, to be fixed, my thing is they need to pray, turn away from this wickedness, turn away from these demonic things and the country will flourish. Now, saying the same thing because i understand biblical words i understand we are in the ends of time and so when we look at america when we look at all of the sin america has going on as well um you know she's in trouble and so all of the the third world countries is bringing these additional demonic things to this country and so so now america is definitely guilty and look at how the demons have taken over this country. Look at everything that we're seeing, all of this transgender stuff, all of this cutting off your body part stuff, all of this calling a man a she a she a man, all of this stuff, all of this LGBT stuff, all of this, uh, you know, now sacrifices, all of this abortion, all the sacrifices, all of these things are demonic and they are here at the forefront of America. And so Haiti has its problems with, uh, it's, guilt with practicing these vicious um demonic religions um but america has adopted some really demonic things as well so therefore end of times is coming friend if you don't know jesus go find him that's at, that's where we're at if you don't know jesus go and find him whether you're haitian whether you're in haiti whether you're in america it doesn't matter Everybody, black, white, green, Asian, everybody needs to be finding Jesus because at the end of the day, friends, the biblical word is coming true and that is what we're seeing. At the end of the day, that is what we're seeing. Friend, we've come to the end of our program. Thank you so much for taking the time. Really do appreciate it. God bless you and God keep you. And I will see you in another video. Please pray, 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 pray. That's all I got. Pray.